Hello, this is Les Garden Standing and I'm here to talk about my Christmas plants some more. I did a video a while back, a couple videos back, that was called Christmas Plants for a Festive Holiday. You can refer back to that video, only a couple back, and that will tell more about these plants that I'm going to talk about today. Today I'm going to talk about their care, their cutting, and their transplant. So, first I'm going to start with a poinsettia, famous poinsettia. Um, we have this pink one here that is really festive, and I'm going to hope that that lasts all the way to New Year's. I'm not going to cut into that one at all yet, but I'm going to cut into this one. Uh, it's starting to drop its leaves. It's you can see it's losing things, so I am going to go ahead and get some cuttings from that and show you how I do that. Um, in a normal care, you just keep the plant moist. You can fill it with your fingers. Do not overwater. Keep it in bright sunlight. It, it likes the sun, but don't let it get too hot and don't let it have any cold drafts. Even a little tiny draft will make it wilt. So it can't get cold at all. So that's the normal care on it. But we're going to take some cuttings from this right now. Make sure you have sterilize your scissors. These are brand new, so I know that they're nice and clean. We're going to take a start right here. Let's see if we can find one. Four to in six inches tall, if possible. We're going to just cut it. I hope you can see. Uh, right here, straight across, there's one cutting. It does seem sad that you're cutting these, but at the same time, that's what you got to do. Cut off some of these leaves as well. There's a leaf. There's a leaf. We're just going to cut this one down. Uh, we're going to cut right below this leaf right here. That's a nice one, but we're going to cut some of these leaves off, of course. Cut all of this off. Now this top part is called the Brax. It's actually your leaf, and in here is actually new flowers and things like that's going to be blooming, and I know that these are not going to bloom anymore. So we're going to cut that completely off at a diagonal. There goes the bracts. There's one. And what we're going to do, there is a milky substance that comes out when you cut these. Definitely wear gloves because it's not good to get in your eyes or anything like that. It's, it's toxic. So what we're going to do, I've already prepared a pot. It's already been watered and I have some soil in there. I'm going to just put that in like that. That way it stays nice and firm. And I'm going to cut this other one here. Right here, this nice one right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut it clear down to here. So let's cut that off. Cut that off and cut that off and that off and even that one as well as that one and cut the the head off which is the breast cut that too then if you have some root starter to dip it in root starter is actually the best I don't have any I'm hoping this turns out this is actually my first time doing this so I'm not sure so please get some root starter, I suggest that that's probably the better way to go. And just dip it in the root starter, then dip it into your soil. Like that. Let's get another one. This one's kind of short, but we'll try it anyway. Um, I'm just going to cut that one off and not save it. There's that. We'll leave that leaf on there. We'll cut this one off. We'll leave our mother plant like this and hope that it turns out and doesn't put it in too much shock. Keep your mother plant warm always as well as 
uh, moist too and you want hopefully that just continues to grow this these leaves will probably die off and that's okay I've already done one already so that's what this one looks like I did that a couple of days ago so we're going to set those aside those are our mother plants we've got two nice stems in there and so we want to just put a little bit more soil in that right here and make sure you firm it down and what I do is I'm going to take it to the sink later on and I'm just going to make sure it's really watered which the bottom already is I already had done that so and then what you do is you put a piece of plastic over it spray it a little on top with the spray bottle like such and then cover it don't let it get in the sun yet wait till it starts rooting and you'll be able to tell that we can check that later there you go that's how we want to treat these little cuttings for the poinsettia later on I can show you how you once they start growing how you transplant them and how you make them red and white and purple and all kinds of colors. Um, so I'm going to talk about another one now. It's called the Norfolk Pine. And at the end I'm going to talk about our Christmas cactus. So that's all for the poinsettia for this time. Hello, I'm back. What I'm going to do now is these are my two Norfolk pines. They look pretty good right now. One is smaller than the other one. Uh, they come from the coast of Australia, so they're also a tropical plant. They like it moist, so just feel to the touch and make sure that they don't dry out. If they dry out too much, just for a little bit, you might as well throw them away. They're not going to work for you then. Uh, don't let them dry out at all, but don't let them just be sopping. I usually water them over a sink or a faucet and then let them drip out a little bit and then put them in here. But also I want to talk a little bit about the light. It likes bright light, but it does not like to be right in front of the window with the curtains up. It needs to be off to the side and have indirect light. Uh, but it likes it bright in the whole room. Also when you prune these do not cut from the top or the sides because it does not grow roots or new shoots or new leaves or anything like that this will just stop growing where you cut so if you need to trim anything just trim off the dead ones on the bottom is all you need to do because you don't want to stunt the growth of your plant now this one looks okay. I'm looking at the bottom. It's not too bad as far as the roots. So I'm not going to transplant that one because you really shouldn't transplant the Norfolk Island Pine only every three to four years. But this one right here is very root bound. As you can see, it's very, very root bound. So I'm going to go ahead and try to transplant it. Um, I'm going to kind of get it out of there a little bit. And then let me get it. Lay it on its side. I'm going to get some soil here. And bear with me just get some soil and I hope this turns out actually because like I said every three to four years it likes being transplanted so I'm doing it right off the bat but only because of the condition it's just too root bound so I've got some soil in here I want to kind of break this up a little try to get the same kind of soil that it's in and I'm not sure what that is so talk to your nursers or your nurseries and find out for sure. It might even need a cactus one. 
This is just a normal organic soil. So put it in there, kind of break up the roots so they can get going. And it has Christmas decorations on it, so it is a Chris real festive around Christmas. the soil in here the best we can. Push it down. Make sure it's solid. I'll put a little bit more in here. I will water this when I'm all done. But what I'm also going to do is just kind of, because it does like moisture, it is a tropical plant. So I've just got some pebbles here. I'm going to put them in the container, just like this, just so it can, I'm not over watering it either and it retains the moisture and then I will water clear through. Let it drain out over the sink and then put it in here and let it finish draining. There is the North Fork Pine. I'm not going to transplant this one. Hope that it all works out okay. I'll let you know in future videos. Now I'm going to talk about the cactus, Christmas cactus. Now I'm going to talk about the Christmas cactus. It's another Christmas plant and like I said, refer to my video on Christmas plants for a festive Christmas. It tells more about the cactus when it's in full bloom. It has now lost its bloom. I have deadheaded. But you can see where the blooms come out of, just the tip of those. Here's one, here's one, and here's one. So they're almost all gone, but the plant still looks quite healthy. So I'm just going to show the general care of it. It also is a tropical plant. It comes from South America. So it likes it moist and it likes it warm and so forth. The sun, it does not like direct sunlight again, just like the Norfolk pine. But it does like it off to the side. It still likes a bright room. It likes it warm, no drafts, no colds, just like this one and the poinsettia. Um, it's really fairly easy to take care of. We can talk about transplanting it later. I'm not going to transplant this one. It looks good. But watering, it also likes it moist, just like the Norfolk Island Pine. So you can feel it by touch. If it feels moist, it's fine. If it needs watering, it'll be dry to the touch. Just like these, I'd like to add some rocks right down here. Um, just to help with the moisture because it does like it moist. So if you keep those rocks and the plant itself sprayed a little, it's going to feel better. It's going to feel more like blooming again. Sometimes these bloom around Easter as well, but definitely around Christmas. That's why it's called Christmas cactus. I'm going to put a little in there too and just make it a little festive. Show it up a little bit more. Just like that. Make it really decorative almost. There we go. Basically that's all I'm going to say about this until we get ready to transplant it. So we have our Mother poinsettia, this is our good one that we're still keeping through the holidays, clear to New Year's, hopefully. It's a beautiful plant. Also, this is the mother one of that red one, and this is the cuttings that we did off of that, which we have treated, and I put plastic around it so that it will sprout. This is the North Folk Island Pine. This one I did not transplant, but it still looks good. And this one I did transplant, and I hope it turns out. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Check on the soil before you do that. 
make sure that you get the right soil because I'm not real sure about the soil. I, it might even need a cactus soil. So there you go. There's my Christmas cuttings, care, and transplants. Thank you for watching. This is Lost Garden Standing, and here's my Christmas plants for the year of 2017. Please like, share, and comment, and subscribe if you would, please. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching us, and until next time, bye-bye.